In the previous slides, we saw ANSYS sub-step control settings and features. Now, we are going to learn about convergence settings in ANSYS. Before going to ANSYS convergence settings, it is important to revisit some of the theoretical concepts and associated practical challenges. Recall that a nonlinear solution is said to be converged when it meets the following conditions. 1. Force residuals or the applied force minus the reaction force is zero. And 2. Incremental deformations or difference between the deformations in the two consecutive iterations is zero. For finite element models that involve shell or beam elements, additional convergence conditions are required. Those are as follows. 3. Moment residuals, or the applied moments, minus the reaction moments, is zero. And 4. Incremental rotation, that is, the difference between the rotations in the structure, in the two consecutive iterations, is zero. Thus, there are forced based, displacement based, moment based, and rotation based, convergence criteria. Note that, in real finite element models, there are multiple nodes, forces, nodal displacements, and reaction forces. Therefore, the previously mentioned criteria is applied to the force, deformation, moment or rotation matrices rather than a single number. Therefore, the residual vector is calculated by subtracting the nodal reaction force vector from the nodal load vector. For the purpose of comparison, a norm or a magnitude of the residual vector is required. The norm is calculated using the relation shown in the slide. Norm of the residual vector R2 is equal to the square root of the sum of the square of the nodal residuals. This is known as a L2 norm. Although there are alternative norms available, L2 norm is default in ANSYS. It can be changed as per the user requirements. In the last slide, we saw how ANSYS or other finite element software calculate the norm of a residual vector to check if it is meeting the convergence criteria. Ideally, the norm value should be zero. However, in the numerical problems, it is impossible to reach the value zero. Therefore, the solution is said to be acceptable when the norm reaches a sufficiently small number. Therefore, the convergence is checked as the force residual should be less than the epsilon r times the reference force or the incremental deformation should be less than the epsilon u times the reference deformation. In this case, epsilon r or epsilon u are the force and the deformation convergence tolerance, respectively. ANSYS default for these convergence tolerance is half a percent. By default, reference force, RF, is the norm of the applied load. Similarly, reference deformation, U ref, is the absolute value of the maximum incremental deformation. In certain problems, like thermal stress, the applied load can be zero. In such cases, predefined small values are considered for a ref. This ensures that the convergence criteria will be a non-zero, but a very small number.
In the last slide, we saw how a convergence criteria is set to a very small but a non zero number. In this slide, we are going to see how it is possible to verify or change the convergence criteria. We can verify or change convergence criteria in ANSYS by going to the details window of the analysis settings. In the analysis settings, if we click on the nonlinear controls, a number of options appear. The convergence controls are force convergence, moment convergence, displacement convergence, and the rotation convergence. By default, it is set to program controlled. In this setting, ANSYS decides which convergence criteria to set active. For example, if the model has B more shell elements, moment and rotation convergence criteria are set active. If the model has only solid elements, rotation criteria may be deactivated. Users can manually set certain criteria on or remove certain criteria. If we set certain criteria to on, tolerance and the reference value can be seen or changed as per the user requirement. Although tolerance or reference value can be altered to improve the convergence, it is not recommended as it may reduce the accuracy of the solution. The convergence tolerance and the reference values still give a very good information about the overall accuracy of the solution.